This is Nitro Game Injection. Colors wave into a spider flame. Listen, sparkle to a pastel unnamed. Bird distort against the call of the night. Search your soul, hungry, awaking the undying night.
Hydro Game Injection! Oh wait, no, this isn't Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> Welcome to NGI. I'm your host, Kyle JCRB. Starting us off there was Pokerus Project and Maripa Please with Life Light from Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. You have to say it that way. It's required by law. You have to say Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I mean, the ultimate doesn't matter, but you have to say Super Smash Brothers as a, like an announcer type. You always have to say it that way. I just broke the law by not saying it that way. So just so you know, don't be like me. Anyway, <laughs> hope everything sounds good this week. Uh, I had to change some uh, some audio equipment and audio levels around, so... Hopefully everything's sounding good. If not, let me know. I will sit here and try to fix it during the show, which is great and always fun. <laughs> but if everything sounds good, then we will carry on. So, uh, of course, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate just released uh, yesterday while I'm recording this Friday. And uh, I don't pick up new games at full price often. And I didn't pick, I technically didn't pick this one up at full price. Uh, I didn't pay for it, but, <laughs> but you know, thank you to the person who did. I very much appreciate it. But uh, anyway, <laughs> the, uh, uh, I picked it up. I've, I've been playing it and uh, it, it's good. It's good. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's Smash Brothers. It's, that's, it's really what, what else did you ask for? It's more Smash Brothers. It is, in fact, the ultimate Smash Brothers because it has everybody in it, except when you first boot up the game, you only have eight characters. And it's like, I get it. They're going as a throwback to the original game, but it's really annoying because I was hoping to be able to play online like immediately with, you know, a, a bigger roster than just eight characters. So I kind of hate character unlocks. It's really annoying. But regardless, it's a good game. It's a great game definitely worth picking up it has a great theme song it took a little while to grow on me i think i mentioned this before uh because i have featured that song in a source tune spectrum before it took a little while to grow on me because it's it, to me i think the uh smash for wii u and 3ds had the best theme song but this one's good too so with that actually I'm doing another Source Tune Spectrum because uh, there have been a slew of covers and remixes and arrangements and stuff released of this song in the last couple weeks, which makes sense. People getting hyped up for for the game and, you know, people cashing in because it's around the time of that it happening. It happens. It's cool. But uh, regardless, there's some good ones out there. So I'm going to be starting off the show with some more. You know, we just heard that one from Pokerus Project. And now I've got four more for you to start off the show with. Why not? First up is Nostalgica with the track simply titled Main Theme. Uh, the song is called Life Light. It has lyrics, which I actually was not aware of a vocal theme until I booted up the game the first time. I know it was like... I think that was Nintendo officially released the vocal version a couple weeks ago. Uh, I didn't notice and I didn't realize that. <laughs> so I was like, whoa, this song has vocals. The vocals actually help make it more of a fleshed out song, even though the actual lyrics themselves are not great. They're definitely you can tell that uh, somebody just fed them into Google Translate and then did some light localization on them. Not not anything major. <laughs> it's, it's a little rough around the edges, but it's okay. The vocal melody actually really helps, uh, really helps sell this song, I think, a bit more. So, regardless, let's go ahead and get into these remixes of it, shall we? This is Nostalgica. Then we're getting into one from Lolia and Sleeping Forest. Richard E.B. is doing another instrumental version. And then closing us out will be Adriana Figuora. Uh, A.K.A. Adrosaurus and Family Jewels. So keep it here. This is the Source Tune Spectrum Life Light from Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Keep it here. This is NGI.
Sorry about that. I had to check something and test something and make sure it wasn't going to die again. Uh, I had some technical problems there if you're listening to the live version of this. Sorry about that, but should be cleared up now, I think. I hope. If you can hear the background music behind me, that's a good sign. That means we're on the right track. <laughs> you just heard a bunch of remixes of Life Light, the intro theme from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. A great game, of course. I mean, I don't need to tell you that. It's good. You should play it. But you just heard Adriana Figuero... Fig... 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 Figuero... Figuero... I'm sorry, Adriana. <laughs> Can I call you Adrasaurus? That's your YouTube name. We'll go with that. And uh, Family Jewels coming together for uh, Lifelight. Before that, we had Richard E.B. with a Smash Ultimate theme. Before that, we had Lolia and Sleeping Forest with Life Light Rock version. And then Nostalgic starting us off there with main theme. And don't forget Pokerus Project at the top of the show. Uh, coming together with Marepa, please. All right. Well, 
we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and get into some uh, more rockin' goodness. Uh, this next block is pretty metal, so strap in, folks. <laughs> it's the metal block. It's what we do on this show. There have been a lot of good uh, metal tunes released lately. And not just ones remixing Smash Ultimate, but other fighting games as well, like X-Men vs. Street Fighter. This one comes to us courtesy of Ferdicay. It's Gambit's theme. Which, by the way, the original song... Oh, it's, it's excellent. Excellent. The original song is great. So, Ferdicay's remix, also really freaking good. Let's check it out and keep it here. This is Nitro Game Injection.
Hope that was good enough for you, pervert. <laughs> that was pri pirate crab, not private crab. Uh, that, and that, that's also, uh, that's an unfortunate thing to have private crabs. <laughs> that would be, uh, that's the world revolving, uh, Jevil's theme. Is it Jevil? Would it be, or Jevil? I don't know, actually. Uh, I, I would say I haven't played Deltarune. But even if I had played Deltarune, I still wouldn't know how to pronounce that because there's no voice acting in Undertale or Deltarune. Uh, the artwork for that song says the universe revolving. I'm not sure which one is correct, but the song was titled The World Revolving, so we'll go with that. Before that, we had Ga Metal with Whizpig from Diddy Kong Racing, a song I didn't think anybody would ever cover. Uh, I, I remember that song vividly because I spent days and days just trying to beat that Whizpig race in Diddy Kong Racing, specifically the first one. Uh, it was almost impossible at the time. Going back to it now, it might be easier or it might be harder. I don't know. But I remember it being like, one of the most intense things of my life at that point was like the 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 death grip on the controller was real trying to beat that race so ridiculous uh before that we had Ferdicay starting us off with gambit's theme from x-men versus street fighter which uh i guess is kind of topical considering we just had the last avengers movie trailer revealed trailer and title uh i won't spoil it but you probably already know i haven't even watched a trailer i don't know if i'm going to i might apparently there's like no real spoilers in it or anything so uh but i, I guess we'll see what happens i'm i'm interested in seeing what what's going to happen to these to these characters of course we only got a few of them left so it's not like this movie's gonna be jam-packed. But who knows? Maybe Wolverine will show up. I doubt it, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> All right. Well, right now in the background, you're listening to the soundtrack for Section Z. Or Section Z. Or Sekushan Z, if you're Japanese. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's something like that. Either way, it's Section Z. And, uh, great shooter game, early Capcom release for the NES, and, uh, an arcade classic. Has an excellent soundtrack, as you're hearing in the background right now. Kind of like a, a weirdly spy-esque <laughs> sound. Like, uh, <laughs> sneaking around like James Bond. It, and it's a side-scrolling shooter. It, it's, it's weird. But, has a great soundtrack. And I wanted to spotlight it today, so I'm doing something a little different. I'm doing the remixed soundtrack spotlight this week with some remixes from a soundtrack. Uh, we're going back to square one a bit with this one. Literally, because the next track is from Ryan 8-Bit. This is from Scrolling Shooters Month back in February of 2005. And I will always have a soft spot for this particular month because uh, I remember it being the first... Uh, listening party and the first time uh, that I got to unveil the Dwelling of Duels results live on air. So big thanks to Paragon and uh, everyone else involved with that at the time. That was awesome and a ton of fun. I appreciated that a lot. <laughs> so I will always have a uh, uh, a place in my heart for Dwelling of Duels Scrolling Shooters Month. Also some great songs that month, so. Anyway, speaking of Back to Square One, that's the name of this song, Back to Square One from Section Z by Ryan Abit. Keep it here. This is Nitro Game Injection.
that right there was this week's uh, remixed soundtrack spotlight. Something I may do a little bit more of in the future. I do like spotlighting soundtracks with remixes of the soundtrack. That's always fun. That was uh, Hide 209 right there with Destroy the Balangul. Uh, that was from Hide 209 Volume 1. That you can think of over at hide209.bandcamp.com. He's got a ton of music over there. It's worth checking him out. He's uh, been a staple of DOD for a while, and uh, I've seen him around in other places as well. So that particular track is from 2012, so it's a bit earlier on, but uh, this newer stuff is definitely worth checking out. And uh, before that, we had a uh, classic from a legend in the video game music remix community. That was Temp Sound Solutions with Section Z from Now You're Playing with Power 2 Metal Storm. Sadly, uh, I cannot find that album anywhere to download right now. You can head on over to tempsoundsolutions.bandcamp.com. There's a ton of albums there, but not all of them. And uh, Sean Faze has released a ton of albums. A veritable slew, but he's only released... He hasn't released all of them on Bandcamp. And uh, now you're playing with Power 2 Metal Storm. Seems to be one of the ones that is missing. Kind of a shame, but... Definitely that old school sound. You know, get them... Get the drums and guitar and play along with the NSF. Hey, it's great stuff. (laughs) It's fun. Speaking of fun, before that we had Ryan 8-Bit with Back to Square 1. Uh... From the Dwelling Duels Scrolling Shooters Month back in February of 2005. That particular track got fourth place. And of course, Ryan Apet, a long stable of DoD, like one of the most prolific guys in DoD, because he entered every month for like 50 consecutive months. I don't know. I I may be overblowing that a little bit, but uh, he, he was a consecutive entrant from like the first month all the way until I don't know a long time <laughs> like every time there would be a Ryan 8-bit entry it was almost like a a shock when there wasn't and then he unfortunately kind of dropped off he went home and became a family man which kind of it makes me kind of sad but it's all good it happens and uh, hopefully Ryan's out there doing well. And uh, maybe he'll come back and release uh, something else later on. Maybe he'll make a return. Maybe he'll make a return for the new Dwelling of Duels uh, this month, which is Pixels versus Polygons. This is for MAGFest, actually. So you have all month and then uh, like a week into, Ju- into January to get your entries in over at dwellingofduels.net. Which transitions us very nicely over, actually, to this week's Dose of Duels. We just had Shadow of the Ninja Month wrap up for DoD in November with uh, three three entries. Well, five entries total, but three main entries, two alternates. Both of those by CZ, of course. <laughs> uh, three entries, some pretty good stuff in here. Sadly, only three entries, though. Shadow of the Ninja has one of the best soundtracks for the NES. I I can point to. I can be like, uh, you want to know some really good NES music that nobody knows about? Shadow of the Ninja. Really freaking good. It's by Natsume. The game is by Natsume. So, of course, it has a great soundtrack. <laughs> That's sort of how it goes with Natsume and NES games. And uh, excellent idea for a DoD month. Wish there had been some more entries, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and play all three of them, and then I'm going to throw in a couple of more couple more uh, Shadow of the Ninja DoD tracks to kind of fill out the fill out the list here, just to just to have a little bit of a bonus. But first, I'm going to play the top three tracks, starting with Powell Man. This is the winner of Shadow of the Ninja Month. The song is called Kage Quit. Keep it here. This is Nitro Game Injection.
Anyway, folks, apologies to uh, the stream listeners who are watching on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, it, it's being very, very... <laughs> Things are not going well over there, apparently. <laughs> Sorry about that. I've tried to uh, change things and try different settings and restart the stream, and it, it's just not acting correctly. So I'm keeping it up, but I, I can't guarantee that you're having a good listening experience over there. So if you manage to hear this in between all the buffering, head on over to kngi.org slash listen and tune in to the audio-only stream there. That'll be your best bet. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, I appreciate you sticking around, but uh, I don't blame you if you leave from there. It's it's not good. It does not look good from here. And unfortunately, there's only so much I can do. I've tried different settings, different servers. I, I, I don't know what's going on, so... Uh, I'm gonna be trying to see if I can maybe find an alternative to what I'm using next week. We'll figure it out, but... In the meantime, hope you enjoyed this week's Dose of Duels. That was, uh, from Dwelling of Duels Ninja Month back in May of 2010. That was Brohound F, or as Larry OG likes to call him, Broham. And, uh, Scared Sim with Flying Shuriken from Shadow of the Ninja. Before that, we had one from Dwelling of Duels Kane Month back in uh, June of 2017, a memorial for Kane LaCroix, who sadly passed away last year. Um, he was a staple of the shiz and the Dwelling of Duels community, and he is sorely missed. But that was Martial Art with a Vanish Into Darkness, another one from Shadow of the Ninja. Great track from them. Before that was the third place entry for Shadow of the Ninja Month. That was Hayate. And then uh, before that, we had Mythias and Brandon Strader with the second place track for Shadow of the Ninja Month, just called Kage. And then Powell Man starting us off there with Kage Quit, the winner of Shadow of the Ninja Month. Congratulations to you all. Great stuff there. Uh, Well-deserved top three. I mean, sure, there were only three entries. We'll ignore that. <laughs> it's all good. So, we're uh, we're coming up toward the end of the show here. Not quite yet. We got a little bit more to go, so hope you guys are enjoying it so far. If you're not, uh, well, stop listening on YouTube and Facebook and head on over to kngi.org slash listen and listen to the direct audio feed uh, from the server there because that's going to be a much better experience. <laughs> Uh, this, the next block is, uh, actually these, this week's featured album. A brand new album came out. I haven't even had the chance to listen to the whole thing yet. Uh, from Xenogears. This one comes to us courtesy of Materia Collective. It's called Omega, a tribute to Xenogears. You can find it over at materiacollective.bandcamp.com. It is an absolutely staggering collection of music. It's huge. It's enormous. There's tons of people on it. Some you may recognize from previous Materia Collective albums. Some you may recognize from other places on the internet, like Overclocked Remix, uh, and all sorts of other people involved as well. It's well worth checking out, especially if you're a fan of Xenogears' soundtrack. And uh, you definitely want to go check this one out. I'm going to play four tracks from it, starting off with a track from Hedrick Frederick Hyphen? Hyphen? I'm not sure exactly. Hopefully I'm close. Apologies if I am not Frederick, but uh, we'll, we'll go with that. This one's called You Shall Be As Gods. And then I'm going to follow it up with four more tracks from this album, or three more tracks from the album too, so four total. So be sure to go check it out at materialcollective.bandcamp.com. It's been, what I've heard so far, it's worth your time to go check out. So you can stream it, of course, for free at Bandcamp and then pay, uh, I think it's 15 I want to say it's $15. I should pull it up so I'm not, uh, so I'm not wrong, but I could be wrong. I, I, I fully admit I will, could be wrong. No, it's 15 I was right. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Keep it here. This is Nitro Game Injection.
Right there was Mitch he- Materia Collective's new album, Omega, a tribute to Xenogears. You can find it at materiacollective.bandcamp.com, available for 15 bucks. But since it's Bandcamp, you can also just stream it for free if you're interested in checking out the album, hearing more of the tracks. That's only four of a 44-track album, so if you dig the soundtrack to Xenogears and you like what you heard from that small sampling, be sure to go check it out. That was uh, John Stacy right there with Let's Go Already in capital letters with five exclamation points at the end. Always good. <laughs> Before that, we had Glentai with City of Burning Synths. Before that was Michael Garrett Steele with Incursion. And then starting us off was Frederick Hyphen. Hyphen. I'm not sure which. I, I apologize. But uh, that was You Shall Be As Gods. And that brings us to the end of this episode of Nitro Game Injection. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Sorry about the technical issues. 
Uh, I'm hoping I can get the video version uh, fixed up next week. Because this is really obnoxious. I'm really annoyed, as it were. I'm really annoyed. So I I'm going to try something different next week and we'll see how things go. But uh, regardless, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll be back next week with more video game music awesomeness. We're starting to get deeper into December, so it might be time to break out the winter tunes. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Actually got a winter tune to end out this week's episode. But first, let's talk about uh, patreon.com slash KNGI, shall we? If you are at all interested, you can contribute as little as a single dollar per month or as much as a billion dollars per episode. <laughs> I, 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 I'm okay with the dollar per month. Actually, I'm more than okay with the dollar per month because that's just awesome. Even giving that little much. Even giving that little amount really helps out. So KNGI.org or Patreon.com slash KNGI, I should say. Although you can also find the uh, links all over at uh, KNGI.org. Uh, speaking of which, KNGI.org is where you can find archived episodes of Nitro Game Injection and tons of other episodes uh, of other shows, including the show I do with my good buddy Ian Flynn, The Bumblecast, where we would talk about uh, pop culture, video games, movies, TV shows, and all sorts of other nerdy stuff. Basically, whatever we want to talk about. Sometimes we dabble a little bit in the, the uh, science stuff we talk about. We talk about like cool things happening in space. Space is pretty cool. Space is fun. Cool things happening on Earth. Uh, cool things happening anywhere in the universe, really. I mean, anywhere in the multiverse, actually. We, we, we've, uh, we've not done an episode on the multiverse yet, though. Maybe we will. <laughs> and uh, all sorts of other cool stuff there, too. So be sure to go check it out. KNGI.org. And I think that's about it. That's all we need to know this week. So... Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Again, apologies for the, uh, the technical issues, but uh, hopefully things got a little bit better. I'm still sitting here watching frames drop like crazy on the video side of things, so I'm definitely going to be finding an alternative method next week because it's, 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 it's really, not, really not good things going on over here, guys. I'm sitting here watching it, and it's not pretty. So... But uh, in the meantime, I will leave you with these four tracks. First up, we got one from Extra Lives from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. This is prehistoric Turtlesaurus. A really great rendition of this. Very jazzy. Very good take on it. Um, of a song that like nobody ever remixes until now. Yeah, well, it did get remixed on uh, Shellshocked, but other than that, <laughs> like no one touches it. Uh, after that, we've got 130 Grit with Cave Dungeon from Super Mario 64. This is a psychedelic Latin jazz rock cover. So <laughs> essentially like every genre under the sun thrown in here. It works out really well, though. It's very good. Uh, after that, we've got some Undertale. Yeah, I haven't played some Undertale in a while, but this week I played both Deltarune and Undertale. So, hey, uh, this is with Ether from their with their version of a Megalovania that just came out a couple weeks ago. This is really great stuff. If you enjoy dueling acoustic guitars, you're in you're in for a treat. And finally, closing us out will be a track from the Game Brass from their new album Snowtopia that you can find at the GameBrass.bandcamp.com. These guys are part of the Materia Collective. And they did a remix from Mario Kart 64, Frappe Snowland. And that's going to close us out and uh, maybe get us ready for a little bit more of a chilly feeling episode next week. We'll see. In the meantime, thanks everybody for listening. I have been Kyle JCRB, your host. I'll be back next week with more video game music remix awesomeness. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So this has been Nitro Game Injection number 334. It's December 8th, 2018, and I am out of here. Good night, everybody.
Ha <laughs> ha 